Hello everyone, Supermando Bros here, and I got a lot of news to talk about. I usually I don't do multiple news things in one video, so we got a lot to talk about from Funko Pops to action figures to Godzilla vs. Kong, a lot of things. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we'll talk about here is the WandaVision Funko Pops that were revealed yesterday. So the first one we're gonna look at is this version of the Scarlet Witch or Wanda, and this was revealed on Entertainment Earth, and I really like the way this pop looks. It's a reference to the post credit scene of WandaVision, which, by the way, WandaVision's a fantastic show. I'm still deciding if I should review it on this channel or not. And I really like it, so I might have to get this. I'm not sure about this. That. Next up, we actually have the Hot Topic exclusive Scarlet Witch. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this or not. One, because I don't have a Hot Topic near me, and two, because I don't know. I think I don't think it's as unique as the other one, but I do definitely like it. Next up, we have White Vision, and honestly, this looks great. There's more detail than the Marvel Legends, which we will get to in a minute. And I really like this one, so I might try to get it. Not sure, but also there's a glow in the dark version that is exclusive to Walmart, and I don't like the way it looks, so. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not a big fan of the way it looks. Next up, we do have Monica in her sword space type suit thingy. I really don't know what to call it. It's nothing really unique about it that I like, so I'm probably not gonna get this one. And lastly, we do have Agatha Harkness, and I like the way this one looks, and this will go great with Wanda or Scarlet Witch. So I might try to get it because I really like the way it looks, so uh, I might get it, might not, not sure. I'm definitely gonna try to get the Scarlet Witch and White Vision, but I'm not sure about the rest. Next up, we have two Marvel Legends related things. Now, I have not talked a lot about Marvel Legends. I think I've only done one Marvel Legends review of the Deadpool 2 wave of Marvel Legends, but these two are based off of WandaVision, and we have Scarlet Witch as well as Vision, the White Vision. I think it's White Vision. Hold on. This version of Vision, I'm kind of mixed on. I think it's just a reuse of the Vision body and basically i think the only thing new is the head so mm, kind of iffy on that one i don't think it looks as good as the scarlet witch one which looks fantastic i love the way this one looks so i'm definitely going to try to get it because it just looks awesome i love the way it looks hey winter how you doing? So yeah, I definitely love the way this version of the Scarlet Witch costume is. My favorite Scarlet Witch costume, so I definitely have to try to get this figure. Alright, so this is added on after I'm done with the video, so I'm just gonna put this in between, because why not? So Jack Specific has revealed a three-pack of Cat Peach, Cat Mario, and Cat Luigi. Now, I love Super Mario 3D World. I am halfway through the game right now, and I've been loving it. I can't wait to play Bowser's Fury, and I just love the game, and I really want a cat. Mario figure so they announced it really weirdly they had like this phone thing it was weird it was weird but then they announced it and I really like the way these three look I think the cat Mario and cat Luigi might have already been released before I'm not sure about the Luigi one I know definitely the Mario one all three of them look fantastic so I'm definitely gonna try to get these these will come out around fall of 2021 I just had to mention it because you know I've talked I talked about video game merchandise so I just had to add this in so yeah back to to the regular I, I don't know how to end this off <laughs> so let's move on to the other news Next up, we have something that I have seen nobody talk about. I feel like this should be bigger news than it is, but we have, I think a few days ago, Bandai has revealed the brand new Robot Spirits Pacific Rim The Black Atlas Destroyer. And this is from Pacific Rim The Black, which is the brand new anime on Netflix. I haven't seen it yet, but I love the Robot Spirits Pacific Rim figures. I have most of them. I'm missing like three, I think. Uh, and I think they're fantastic figures. And also they were pretty cheap, ranging from 20 to $30. So I, I had to get them and I just love the way this one looks. Uh, the design for Atlas Destroyer, when I first saw it, I didn't really like it, but now it's starting to grow on me. So I might have to get this one. The detail looks great. It looks really accurate to the anime. So I'm going to try to get this one, but on Big Bad Toy Store, it's going for $60, which is I think a bit much, but you know, it is what it is. So it might be cheaper in other places. I'm not sure about that. The accessories that Atlas Destroyer comes with is this red claw thing, but also it 
like a grappling hook thing. Those are the only two accessories it comes with. Also, I'm assuming it comes with alternative hands as well. I just love the way this one looks, so I'm definitely going to have to try to get it because it looks so good. And this is supposed to come out around July or August, I believe. I'm not sure about that. So yeah, I'm just really surprised that no one's talking about this. I feel like this should be bigger news than it is. The last thing we got to look at here is something huge, and it's related to Godzilla vs. Kong, and it is that Playmates, well, more like Walmart, has revealed the 6-inch and 11-inch Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates Mecha Godzilla. We finally have HD images of Mecha Godzilla. This is amazing. Now, I knew we were getting these for over a year now because of the leaks from last year. I made a video about it and everything, and I was really excited for these figures. And now we finally have HD images of it. And I really like the way these look. A lot of people are very mixed on these figures when I think these are pretty good. I really like the design of Mecha Godzilla here. It's Probably one of my favorite designs for Mechagodzilla. Definitely reminds me of the Ready Player One Mechagodzilla. And the six inch one does come with a green version of the Heave and also does the whole battle damage thing. And I don't like the battle damage thing at all. I'm one of the few people who don't like it, but I just, mm, I don't like it. A lot of people have a problem with the face, and I actually quite like the face. I think it looks pretty good. Also, some people have problems with the claws. I think they're fine. I actually am fine with, with them having four claws instead of three. And the dorsal plates as well. People are having some some problems with that but I actually quite like the way they look I like that it doesn't look like super futuristic and all that because most Mechagodzilla suits look really futuristic and I quite like it the 11 inch one I think is the best out of both of these the 11 inch one has definitely more detail and they just look great overall six inch one ten dollars the 11 inch one is twenty dollars and they are already sold out at Walmart you could have pre-ordered it but now it's it's sold out everywhere you can't get it but definitely I cannot wait to get it actually there are some people who are already finding this figure in stores and we haven't even gotten wave two yet we've only gotten wave one and people are already finding this in stores i don't i i don't know anymore i don't know playmates uh, you, what are, what are you doing so yeah i really like this i'm definitely gonna get both of these figures i'm gonna try to get all the godzilla vs kong figures which seems a bit much but so far i've gotten all of wave one and i'm gonna try to get all wave two and all of wave three i cannot wait to get these figures and put them in my collection i'm definitely gonna review these when they come out definitely expect a review for them they're supposed to come out around may i believe which makes sense because they probably want the figures to come out after the movie because these are huge spoiler figures so yeah what do you guys think about this let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you guys later bye